Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another 2021 Top Series 1 Jumbo Break. This is pick your team number 11, all card ship, and looks like we have extra rip party packs to give away. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize or randomize everybody's names that's on this list right here. And the name on top will get the uh, exclusive rip party pack. The second name will get any of those uh, non-baseball related card baseball team affiliated cards which are basically the history of tops cards which are actually kind of cool all right so let's pop this baby open this break should take a just be a shade over an hour i think to knock out we got schedule in the chat folks check it out we are booked for the night after the after the things already on the site there Slide these boxes back here. I think I'm going to rip open three jumbo boxes at a time. All right, TJ, rooting for the Cubs because he has the Cubs. But we were just talking off uh, off camera before we started the video about Justin Turner re-signing with my Dodgers, which I'm very happy about. He's got. A lot of intangible leadership qualities. He can still hit the ball. I think the power has dropped a little bit. Fielding has dropped a little bit. But he's still great at third when when he's healthy. And uh, I think his, uh, his on-base percentage is still pretty great. Um, and he just has a knack for being clutch. In like the playoffs, delivering like a clutch play or a clutch hit, a clutch double, something like that. You know, he's he's got he's got that that X factor, I think. Which you know, I don't think I don't think the Dodgers are really worried about what what Justin Turner is going to do in the season. I think they'll just be just fine. They'll get a playoff spot. You know, they want players who can handle the pressures of the postseason. Yeah, Cynthia, go Dodgers. I'm happy about that. And again, I'm going to open up three boxes at a time. So I think the Dodgers, are, I guess, are pretty set for the season then. I don't know if there's any... Any other big issue that they need to take care of? I mean, Kenley Jans is not getting any younger, but I'm I'm thinking that you can see the packs on the top here right there. I'm I'm thinking that they're gonna find that answer internally. I think they're a little even with Justin Turner. I feel like they're a little lefty heavy. I think they want to find a find some power from the right side, and maybe that can come from uh, coming. That maybe that right-handed bat is found internally as well. And short of a significant injury, I don't know if they're going to be making too many moves after this. I'd be surprised. I think we kind of knew, Dodgers kind of knew that T.K. Hernandez and Jock Peterson would, just the money just wouldn't work out for them. I think they deserve, they, they deserve a chance to play every day, you know, see what they can do. This wasn't going to happen with, with a team like the Dodgers. I don't know. Jock Peterson's on a one-year deal with the Cubs, so if he doesn't do well with the Cubs... I wouldn't be surprised if the Dodgers bring him back for a, for a cheap one-year deal. They brought back Alex Wood, so it's clear that there are players that they kind of like. So, that's right. There, there is Knebel. Trinan still there? Maybe. 
I don't know, maybe Brewster Gratterall. Brewster Gratterall could be a good closer. Maybe Urias could be a good closer. Maybe Dustin May could be a closer. Yeah, Jock Peterson is going to rake in Wrigley. That's such a tiny ballpark. And you know, and I, 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 he might be able to play every, that might be even be a good thing. Because the Cubs will probably, should play him every day. I wouldn't see why you, why you wouldn't. They should, should play him every day. So, he's going to hit well against uh, righties. You know, and then maybe they'll, they'll just start him against lefties too. And if he can work on that part of his game, that would be huge for him. <clears throat> All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's fly through these here. I'll try to... Everything ships, so... Don't worry if I miss anything, but I'm going to try to separate some of these rookies out as much as possible for, for you and for the shipping team. These are pretty nice, too. Vlad Guerrero Jr. These are manufactured patches, but they look pretty sharp. We've seen some autographed, too. That'll be for Toronto. That's going to be for Justin. So there's a history of tops card right there. Those will be randomized. As one lot to someone in the break. So the whole point, if you're if you're wondering about these series one breaks, pretty much the whole point of these is is this is one of the, I think this is the first major baseball product of the 2021 season. So this is your first look at the rookies of this 2021 class. So that's what you're looking for. These there'll be a recap at the end too. So. So if you're watching the replay of this and you don't want to watch this whole thing, you can skip your video towards the end. But basically, you're, you're looking for these new rookies. And, you know, like Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson right here too, Casey Mize back there, Sixto Sanchez, so on and so forth. You want to see these. You want to see those guys. And numbered cards like this to 300, we've got uh, Mark Kana. You know, the Dodgers and A's made a small move recently, a couple days ago. What, what move was that, Oliver? Do you remember? It was kind of a small little move, but with players I feel like were familiar. I'd look it up, but if I had two extra hands. And, of course, the autograph we're looking for. I think one in each jumbo. There's Zach Plesak. Dan's, Dan Plesak's nephew, I think. It's for the Indians. Henry with the tribe. Just a facsimile autograph right there. You're also looking for variations too. Variations will also be flipped around, but they won't be uh, they won't be numbered. Sometimes you can find some really super short prints too. It's Christian Pache. Dan please like son? Dan please like son. There's a gold foil. Javier Baez going your way, TJ. Does he talk about it a lot? And I guess I would too. Alright, 
that's the first half of a jumbo box. Here's the second half. Nice silver foil for the Mariners. Love, love the foil stamp that they put onto these base cards this year. I think it's a, it's a pretty sharp design. Here's a Christian Pache for the Braves. All of those will be going to William Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And here is 334 out of 2021. It's uh, Manny Machado. TJ, who are we looking for for the Cubs here? Or who they're, who's their big rookie this year? Not Ian Happ. He was a year or two ago. There's silver foil, Chris Bubich. And Miguel Sano, Major League Material. That will be for the Twins, Adam, with that one. If you want to help the break along, which I appreciate. Thank for Oh, Fergie Jenkins Auto. Okay, okay. If we can find... I feel like... Every other every other case or so, we'll stumble into a, uh, a vet autograph or an old school Hall of Famer autograph. There's Mount Castle, Kiebert Ruiz, Alec Baum, Alec Baum for the Phillies. Derek Hamilton will be getting all those Alec Baums. Joe Adele, Angels fans hoping he's going to be a big deal this year. That would be hashtag good for the hobby. Joe Adele does well. And this card flipped around like this is a variation. There he is. Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. These variations are really nice. It's a... Card 230. There, there are codes right there on the back to see if it's a variation. Around the tops has helped us out big time by flipping them around. This will go to Detroit. We'll go to Jens. And if those, if those are big rookie names, those short prints could go for a lot. Or a big name like Cabrera, Mike Trout, super short prints. They're gonna be pretty awesome too. The fact that there's so many cards, obviously, and so few variations, or sh so, sh so few short prints, definitely increase the values of those a lot, especially if you get the right player. And we've got a Francisco Lindor to 299. Got a numbered one for Henry and the Tribe. And we'll get all those sleeved and top loaded before they go out, of course. Just in the in, we got a couple other breaks backed up, so just in the interest of time, kind of flying through this. And we'll do a recap for the for the hits at the end, of course. There's the Yankees team card to 2021.
And those exclusive silver pack cards that are up there, you can see on the top camera, those are pretty, uh, those can yield some really nice things as well. We've got a silver Leody Tavares, silver foil, heading out to the Rangers, William. And here's an autograph for you, William, Sam Huff. Mm -mm. No super fractors yet, TJ. Maybe this case? And I don't think Sean did. Sean, I feel like Sean would have said if he hit one overnight, so I don't think he did. I think someone would have said. I haven't heard anyone say anything like that. I don't think we've even seen an out of, I don't know if there's any out of five, but I don't think we've seen an out of five. Excuse me, or even a, uh, <clears throat> I don't think we've even seen a printing plate. We've seen um, sketch cards, though. I think Jason pulled a sketch card and Sean pulled a sketch card. I think those are like one of ones, right? But no, no supers. And we've got for the twins out of 2021, Byron Buxton. Adam and the twins. Is that the sketch card? Oh, we're just looking <laughs> at the sketch card. We did get a Mike Trout sketch card from a different break. It's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'd, I'd want to get a job from Tops. Sketch, do sketches for tops. Make a little side hustle, side money there. All right, what is this? Out of two ninety nine, it stars in service. Anthony Rizzo. These usually aren't numbered. It's pretty cool. Brandon, what's going on? How are you? Nice Alec bomb right here. And people are really, really high on him in Philadelphia. He was a rookie of the year finalist last year. So the one of one TJ saying is called the 70th anniversary card. So I'm assuming it, it'd be it's going to be obvious, right? Like is this is the same super fractor type design? Ooh, nice Joe Adele gold foil. It's pretty nice for the uh, halos, Brandon. Just in time, Brandon. Hey, I am too, Brandon. I, I'm, I'm glad the Dodgers finally got a World Series off their back. It was a crazy season, crazy bubble circumstances. So a unique set of challenges. And they were able to make it. And there's Kyle Lewis. It's Kyle Lewis. You think that they'll pull it off, uh, off again this year? That'd be nice. It's hard. I'm, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> you know, the Dodgers have already been to multiple World Series in a row, so 
that's hard enough to win multiple in a row. You know, the odds are, are pretty tough. But they've definitely retooled this year. There is, speaking of the World Series, there's 7 out of 70, Clayton Kershaw. Yeah, they, I mean, Trevor Bauer was an excellent addition. Remember, David Price opted out last season. So that's another fresh arm in the rotation this year. So that's a lot of depth for the postseason. Something that they, I think they struggled with a little bit last year. They kind of had to piece together those, those like Alex Wood, Dustin May, Gonsolin sort of starts, which was a little difficult. And there's another Joe Adele for you, Brandon. But yeah, but 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 they did. Vegas certainly think they're favorites there. I think they're 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 two to one, three to one in some spots to uh, to win it all again. We'll have to see how this season plays out. And there's gold foil Daniel Johnson for the tribe, and there is for Detroit Casey Mize. These are manufactured patches, but they're they're still pretty cool. Yens with the Tigers. Facsimile autograph right there. Another Joe Adele. I had missed something. I don't know. All card chip. So in case I do miss something, you'll be able to catch it. There's gold foil dart and varsho. And here is another numbered card for the tribe. It's Roberto Perez, 268 out of 2021. Cleveland! Cleveland, this is for you. Henry Benson. And we've got a Zach McKinstry for the Dodgers. Don't forget about him. Zach McKinstry in that mid-80s design. That goes to Rick Thomas and my Dodgers. There you go, Rick. 1986. Like Joey Bart and Dylan Carlson are not only they pair together all the time, but they're also upside down out of the pack all the time. Or right side up, depending on, I guess, what side you're on. Mookie Betts, glad to have him as a Dodger for many years to come.
And we've got a variation, a Justin Verlander variation. Nice. Houston, Patrick Colon. There you go, Patrick. He's an Astros fan. There you go. Verlander's pretty good. Verlander's first ballot, right? Let's look at the back of the baseball card. He has 226 wins. All right, he's probably got a few more years to go. If not more. I don't know. I, he might hit 300 wins. He's got a lifetime 333 average, which is pretty great for as long as he's played. And over 3,000 strikeouts. Yeah, that's, that, those are first ballot numbers, right? With all, Wilson Contreras, Major League Material. For the Cubbies, that's going to go to TJ. Christian Pache there. We got Luis Patino, rookie, gold foil for the Padres. That will be for, for Kyle. There you go, Kyle. Gold foils aren't too shabby. Padres, as a Dodger fan, kind of scaring me a little. That if that if that team clicks, it could be a that could be a big challenge for the Dodgers in the regular season. Should be a lot of fun battles this summer. We got this guy. That is Randy Dobnek, 126 to 199. That red, I forgot what they call red ice parallels. Do they? All right. Silver packs. Time for the silver packs. Good luck. Could be some autographs in here too. Hebert Ruiz, Spencer Howard rookie, Christian Javier, Shane Bieber, Kershaw, Canseco, Alonzo, Strauss, Sixo Sanchez, rookie cards, Tristan McKenzie for the Indians, Cleveland. And we got a Dylan Carlson orange. Nice. That is for the Cardinals. Kyle with the Cardinals. There you go, Kyle Pace. Nice to see you in the break, man. Eight out of 25. 
It's supposed to be a big deal. Apparently. All right, box toppers. I think th there's a chance for these little bookmark looking cards to be numbered as well. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. Aaron Judge, all rise. Aaron Judge for the Yankees. That'll be for Matt Medlin. The final bookmark is going to be Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. That'll be for EA and the Red Sox. Okay, we're about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through this break. Here's the second half. Another 30 or so minutes to go. Good luck. Jens, what's going on? Fourth jumbo box, here's the fifth. And the sixth and final box pin popped open. Is this a is this Serena match or replay? Where's the slide? I think this might be live.
Alrighty. The final three jumbo boxes. Casey Mize, gold foil. We got Ronald Acuna Jr. For the Braves, William. To 299. Got the this orange parallel here. I like these parallels. I feel like it's been a been a number of years since they had these in sets. So two ninety nine Texas Rangers. It goes to William Smith. Pache. Got Sixto Sanchez, gold foil, nice one for the fish. Patrick Cologne. And look at this. We've got a Josh autograph for the Pirates. Tom Gregory with Pittsburgh. 33 out of 50. Nice. Oh, TJ, you're supposed to get 10 inches of snow? By Monday, 10 inches. That's crazy. That's that's a that's a good bit of that's a fair amount of snow. That's a fair that's a fair amount of snow. Luke Madrigal, more Alec Baum. And out of two ninety nine, we got old Willie Calhoun, old Dodger prospect. Can hit the ball a ton. Goes to the Rangers. That'll be for William. Yeah, that 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 wreck in Dallas was crazy. I was. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. At least not in not in not in recent memory. Yeah. 
There's Marcel Ozuna to 2021 for the Braves. That'll be for William. Was it over 130 cars? I think like six people ended up dying in that too. Which is, it's nuts. Oh, nice uh, Christian Pache gold foil. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, seriously, watching those trucks just plow into cars made your stomach turn. Me too. I mean, can you just Im imagine being in that car just knowing that you're, you're, like, your vehicle is not going to stop? <laughs> And you're like, yep, this is it. Like, there, there's, there's no way to do. It. I, I cannot avoid any of this. It's just a powerless feeling. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, for the Yankees, Matt Medlin. There's another Joe Adele right there. We've got a pretty low number here. Nice. Randy Dobnik. That's to 50. That's for the Twins. That's going to be for Adam. Nice. Joe Adele, facsimile autograph. Labor Torres and this Lindor's flipped around. It's a two ninety nine. Nice for the tribe. That goes to Henry Benson. And Cody Bellinger. Cool little patch here. I don't know when the next big basketball release is. Pr Pris Pr no Prism's not. I don't know. I think if you go to um, if you go to where can you go? I think Blowout Cards has a forum page that they actively. Uh... Oh, were you were you way behind? Is certified come Jeremy saying certified basketball is coming up? I suppose that would be. That's a solid release, but yeah, not not a not a huge one.
But yeah, the Blowout forums has they have a, a a release calendar that they that they update pretty frequently. And there is oh, uh, Mount Castle. Uh, there's first of all Daniel Johnson for Cleveland. This is for you, Henry Benson. And here's a nice Ryan Mountcastle autograph. Supposed to be pretty good. Michael Mastrulo with the Baltimore Orioles. There you go, Ryan Mountcastle. Another Alec Bomb. We'll try to pull as many of those as possible. It all card shipped though, so if I miss anything like this, don't worry, because everything is gonna ship. Gold foil. Devers, Red Sox. Jeremy, you heard that Select is going to, they're going to start selling Select, uh, retail Select this year. You think that hurts value Select? No. I don't think so. I mean, Prism has a ton of retail products. Mosaic had a ton of retail product. You know, a lot of, a lot of those, those big products have retail versions of them. I don't think that's hurt the value of Prism, has it? I mean, there's probably like, what, half a dozen? There's probably like six different Prism releases. Prism Hobby, Prism Fanatics, Prism Blasters, Prism Cello Packs, Prism re Retail Boxes. I don't know, I feel like there's like six different Prism releases. And as far as our shop is concerned, you know, everybody buys all the different ones. I think retail gets to, well, the thing is the retail stuff gets expensive too these days, but it's still a ton cheaper than hobby versions. Here's a variation. Ooh, nice Ted Williams. That's EA with the Red Sox. Nice. I like the old school guys in the new Series 1 design. And look at this. Keston Hira. Big piece of his name. That's a one of one. Wow. Who's got the brew crew? Kyle. Kyle N. Kyle Needs. Got the brewers. And gets the one of one. I guess you have to find the other letters now. That's your mission. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And a gold foil Bobby Dalbeck for EA. And the Red Sox, um, along with the other Dalbics that I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've missed in these in these breaks. Yeah, I suppose Select not having a retail version maybe had had increased its uh, I don't know, desirability amongst collectors, but I feel like the hobby has reached a point where there is like that demand for Select retail products, or enough people being priced out of Select hobby boxes where they're like, hey. Can there be like hobby cello packs with different exclusives that I could chase for a relatively more affordable price? Is the idea? Is my guess? Is is what they're what they're thinking is? All right, almost there, folks. All right, last full box.
Isaac Paredes gold foil to 499. We've got Julio Urias and we've got Reggie Jackson, the straw that stirs the drink. Ryan, how long do you think Optic Football will stay at, at this current price? I don't know. Maybe in, maybe maybe it won't. Maybe it'll keep going up. My guess is the way, you know, I guess it'll, it'll go by the way of the, uh, how well the quarterbacks do in this draft class, the 2020 draft class. If the likes of Justin Herbert and Tua and Burrow keep, continue to play well over the years, that box price will just steadily go, go up over the years. Which is why I always encourage everybody, when there's a new release that comes out, don't wait. More often than not, the new release price will probably be um, will probably be the cheapest price you'll see for, for probably years. Unless that draft class becomes, you know, unless that draft class is just, uh, just completely full of nobodies and then maybe that price will start to creep down. We've got another Red Sox and an autograph. We've got Eduardo Rodriguez for EA. And the Red Sox, and we've got Josh James, Astros, Patrick Colon. What price would it take for a UFC fight in the US? One of these professionals for you. Wait, hold on, what? Are you asking what price would it cost me to fight one of these fighters? To fight a fighter? Is that what you're saying? Um, I don't know. It would probably take cost me I don't know. Someone would have to pay me at least to 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 work out for a year and just get into fighting shape. Then after then I'd have to see where my where my weight class could be and I have to figure that that part out and then I don't know maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars five hundred thousand dollars it's a facts only autograph oh, a million for Lonnie should I ask for a million? I should ask for a million I'll ask for a million I'll settle for I don't know six hundred thousand dollars I'm not getting knocked out. I'm I'm just I'm running around the ring. I'm I'm cowering in a corner. But at least I'll at least at least I'll look good. I'll be in the best shape of my life. I'll look good cowering in the in one of the angles of the octagon. And I would just get into a, I'd maybe try to get into a position where, where maybe I'll just get a, well, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't pick a fighter that would actually be able to, to knock me out. That'd be terrifying. Um, but maybe, maybe a fighter who's, who has more of a ground game 
and then I would then I would just get like choked out and I'll just go to sleep. That'd be I mean that doesn't sound too bad. You know, I just go to sleep, I lose the match, I make my money and I'm out. Would I buy Hoos Hollybox and Stash 402 week of a rookie? What makes you think it's a weak rookie class? Seen what Anthony Edwards has been doing? Lamelo Ball setting records. James Weissman in the mix. Tyrese Halliburton is another another hoops player. It's actually turning out to be a pretty solid draft class. At the very least, a it it could be a less uh, a less top heavy draft class. In previous years, really, it's only. Only Doncic in 18, 18, 19. Doncic is big. Yep. Trey Young, too. But I feel like... Right, Sadiq Bay just dropped 30 the other night? Yeah. And then in 19, 20, it's Zion and John Morant, obviously. Maybe... maybe RJ Barrett's actually coming around, Kobe White and some others. But there's a there's a lot of players that are that that are pretty interesting. Vlad Guerrero going to Justin. But I think I feel like there's a more of a top to bottom sort of feel in this draft class, which could have its own advantages. Luis Robert, White Sox, Francisco. If I was Sabalenka, I'd be pissed too. The show Otani. She had a chance to had a chance to beat Serena, but now it's unraveling. All right, let's set that there. Let's see what's inside here. So now, oh, let me show you, I should show you what's here first. Here's some rookies and a Buster Posey gold to 50. 25 out of 50. That's a nice one for John and the Giants. Brandon Lau. To 75 for the Rays. A few rookies there. And Yohan Mankata. That's it at the end. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. A ton of rookie cards, a lot of nice other cards, a couple of variations, some good autographs, and someone is going to get a shot at the Rip Party Pack.
So let's browser will wake up. There you go. Got Spiro with the Diamondbacks down to Justin in the Nationals. Name on top gets the Rip Party Pack. Second name gets the history of Topps cards and other non-baseball team affiliated cards after eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. There you go. Adam, uh, you get the uh, Rip Party, the exclusive Rip Party pack. And Kyle, Kyle Pace, thanks for getting in, Kyle. You're going to get the uh, the history of Topps cards. All right, done. We made it. Thanks very much, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.